Hello. Welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to start this video off a little bit differently uh, because the focus is this pen here, which Frank brought back from Bobby from China from his trip. It's a Hero 89. It's an interesting pen, but it, I would say it's designed as a small pen that writes not like a small pen, and we'll show you that little bit of design. But I wanted to put it in perspective. Here's your Wingsung 3007, your Delight Alpha in blue, and your Caveco Sport. So it really fits in with the size of those other pens. So I guess that would put it in the pocket variety or pocket theme of a pen. But it has a clip, so it can be used in your shirt pocket and not just in your pants pocket. So uh, let's take a look at this pen in a little bit more detail. I can't find much about it anywhere. So just to show you that I'm not making up the number, it is 89. And it is a hero. Everybody needs a hero. So the top is a nice little cone there, a little nice silvery plating, your hero logo on the clip. I mean, this is a little slippery in the hand, even though it looks like a matte finish. It's, uh, it's slippery. You know, the design aspects are fine. You got your matching design elements, top, middle, and bottom. You got your clip, functional clip. Pull off cap, and wow, no nib. I'm certain some of you were not surprised. So what do you do? Well, pocket pens you generally post. So you post it, push it down, and out pops the nib. So, and then you need that one little push, and it it kind of this the cap snaps on. Well. I think it snaps on. So this is the pen. So basically, this makes it kind of usable. But actually, if you don't post it, it's usable too. But if that nib didn't come out, if that nib was part of it, you'd be holding it way up here, which would make it tiny. Kind of like the other pocket pens designed to be posted. In this case, the posting pushes out the nib. Yeah, you can unscrew this metal section, and it's a small, tiny section, and it is pretty slippery. And you'll see a small aerometric filler. It pops off if you don't want to use it. It looks like it could be a standard international. I haven't played around with it. I'm not a cartridge guy, so I'm fine with this one. It's a small nib there. It does have the Hero logo on it, so that's nice. And a uh, just a plain feed, but it's nice how the feed's designed. Yeah, it's a little bit of thought went into that. I'm certain if I had more heroes, I could find other pens that have this nib. Probably not unique to this one. So it is all com metal construction, cap, barrel, section, everything. And then when you want to finish using the pen and you want to put it away, you just push the cap down and you have the pen back in its carry size. So let's ink this baby up and see how that nib works. So I inked to put in a little pocket pen. I decided to use my Pilot Blue Black. And of course, not gonna be able to fill it from this bottle. The ink's already been lowered down and you can't really fit a pen in there easily and work a converter or a piston or a lever. So I put it into these smaller bottles. So I dunk this in and in order to get this a little bit less than half full it took about 10 pumps. It took about five or six until I actually started seeing ink come up into the into the sack. So filling's not the easiest and it takes a little bit of effort but let's see how it writes. It's been three weeks since I filmed the intro. 
I've had a challenge finishing this video for a couple of reasons. Number one, this is not a pen I would normally seek out or buy, so um, I think uh, it's important to do the video because Bobby felt it was important to send me the pen. He did a nice video on it. He pulled it apart, which I'm not going to do. The pen has a decent heft to it. It feels solid. So if that's something that appeals to you, that would uh, be a pen to consider. The pen weighs a little bit over 28 grams, which is a little bit over an average weight of a pen, but because it's small, it has that dense feel to it. One of the things I've noticed over the past couple of weeks when I've been using this sporadically is the cap doesn't click into place as securely as it did originally. It seems to be a little bit loose, which is not something you want if you want to put this in your pocket. The finish does show signs. They're not going to show up on the camera, but it does have a little bit of softness to it. So if you put this in your pocket without putting it in some type of protection, uh, you're probably going to mar the finish, which is, is not something you may want to do. So like I say, the cap doesn't uh, click into place like it, like I think it did when I first got it, but it was always a little bit loose. You know, this is extracting the nib, and yeah, it's a little bit of resistance there to do that. And you think the cap would be secure, but it's not. It just comes off with the slightest amount of pressure, so that's a little bit disappointing. It feels fine in the hand uh, from a weight-wise and balance perspective. In fact, it's, it's very good. But this small chrome section, even though it has those ribs in it, is slippery. Now, you can hold it up here, and this is a much better surface to hold. It feels more like what you're used to in a uh, plastic grip. But if you hold it down here, um, be prepared. It's, it's going to slide around. I mean, this nib is, is very nice. I'm impressed. It's a decent wet rider. It's smooth. I mean, it really glides across the paper. So if, if just for the nib, I would uh, like this pen, but the design in the metal doesn't uh, appeal to me. Some of you may like it, but, you know, part of the whole aspect of fountain pens, it's a very personal experience. It's something that you learn over time what you like and don't like and, and what works for you and not works for you. So uh, this pen is in the not work for me category. And Bobby calls it a different number in, in his auction. And the auction just showed up recently. So when I first did my initial review of this, there wasn't anything on the web about it. So this will complement the video that Bobby did, which I'll put a link in the description. So overall, how would I rate this pen? I have to be honest, it's a 4. And the only reason it gets as high as a 4 is because the nib works extremely well. It does have an aerometric filler, but I'm, you know, I'm fine with them. I've been using aerometric fillers for a long, long time. And um, some cartridge converters I don't like. And certainly some piston fillers are a pain in the butt to clean out and do other things with if you're going to be using a pen a lot and using different inks in them. So that's where we're at. So thank you for watching. Hope you found this video informative. A glimpse of a pen you may not know exists. So this is the end for now. May you have many great, excellent writing experiences. Explore this wonderful world that we have an opportunity to explore in pens, inks, nibs, and paper. Till next time, bye.